Hey guys, it's D Money Bala. Today we're going to be putting a 6600 XT into the Acer Aspire with an i3, um, and we're going to be powering it off of the original power supply since it's that ATX 12 VO. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. So I've got a fan here on the side, and I've got a fan blowing out at the back. Um, that is going to help with GPU temperatures. Um, so I just have a fan splitter going into the fan. And um, I don't have a smaller fan that'll fit there, so I just have this like sitting up there, blowing air out. Um, but I have a fan that is, is Molex, but I don't have Molex on this, so I'm just using a bigger fan and blowing, hole, blowing stuff out there. Um, now we're going to put the 6600 XT into its slot. This is a three slot uh, 6600 XT, so it's pretty big. You can get it in, you just have to be uh, gentle with it and then you just make sure it lines up you open up your bracket here put it in there and then we've got a SATA to 8 pin adapter and that's going to be needed to power your 6600 or 6600 XT and then we'll be able to just close it up and uh, put a screw here to secure our uh, GPU. And I've got that secured, and I put the fan near the bottom pulling air in so that it'll get air to that GPU. Um, I did test with and without the fan. Definitely get better temperatures with the fan than without it. So I've got some Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies, just to show you um, what the frame rates are like. It can get a lot better, this is in 1080p frame rates, but I put, I'm only playing on a 75Hz monitor, and so I enabled VSync just to get a smooth gaming experience, and then that way um, the GPU doesn't get as hot as when it's trying to push like 120 frames. Um, so yeah, when it's just locked at the 75 frames per second, like that's doing real well. Uh, and I was able to game like this uh, screen recording that we're watching, I played for like uh, 40 minutes and it was totally fine. And I was able to game for like four or five hours on it in, in a single session and do other things just to make sure that this uh, setup does work. And I haven't touched the um, power limit in Radeon software, but that's another thing. If you're worried about your setup, uh, you can go into the Radeon software and set a power limit there for your GPU profile. Uh, I also put 16 gigs of RAM in here, and then I'm just running off of a 500 gigabyte um, Samsung 970 Evo NVMe drive. So. Yeah, I was able to game pretty well with this. It does better than my 1660 Super. It may just pull a little bit more watts, and so that's why I was nervous, and I made this video just to make sure that you can do it. And it definitely looks like it is doable, and I didn't run into any hard crashes while I was doing this. So, yeah. So now I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this gameplay, um, and then at the conclusion, it's near the end of this video, I'll have a timestamp. Um, and if you need to know how to... Uh, take this Acer Aspire apart. I have a video doing that and I'll link that at the end of the video as well. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.
like our strike team found part of a device. Any idea what it is? Hmm. Looks like a component from a data collector. Perhaps End Station created it in order to explore the other dimension. As you've seen, the 6600 XT will um, work in this computer. Um, I was testing it with 16 gigs of RAM and an NVMe drive. Um, I didn't have the DVD drive plugged in because I didn't want to run into power constraints there, but I was able to game for um, many hours with this system and it didn't crash because of power dry issues. Um, if you're worried about um, going over on power, you can always just drop the wattage down in uh, the Radeon software and you'll be good. And the 6600, will, you don't have to do that at all. Um, it would be able to run fine with the 350 watt power supply in this rig. If you've liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.